Hey everyone, in today's video I want to cut the smallest stencils I've ever made and then paint them out on these $1 bills. So today I'll be going through the, how I made this little artwork, so let's jump straight into it. Now most stencil artwork starts off in either Photoshop or other photo editing software. I've already prepared most of my stencil layers. I've already taken this cartoon image and separated the colors into different layers as you can see here. If you'd like to know how I did this, I have a step-by-step -step video in my members area where I go through the whole process and also go through other stencils and how I created them. Once I'd separated all of my colors, I'd actually created the inverse of that. And as you can see, I have the black area as my stencil and the see-through area as the area that will be cut out and painted in yellow for this particular stencil. I've done this for each of my layers. Here's my black, orange, uh, a background, and I've already exported all of these so they're ready to cut as well. So for today's video, what I'll be using to cut out my stencil will be a laser cutter. A laser cutter will be perfect for getting those really tiny details and we've also been given a really cool little laser cutter to test out for today's video. We've kindly been given this little A1 laser cutter by Spider Lasers. This is a very small laser cutter that only cuts 200mm by 200mm but has a 10 watt laser which is pretty powerful and should be perfect for getting those tiny little details and cutting through all sorts of different materials. I'll just be cutting through some simple paper stencils which will be perfect for those tiny little details that we need for creating this artwork on these paper knots. If you'd like to know more about this laser cutter you can always check out the website in the description below. So let me show you the process of how you can take your stencils and cut them out on this little laser cutter. It's really easy, all you really need to do is go into the Lightburn software which you use to control the laser cutter and then you can come up here and import your artwork. So here I should have my artwork on my desktop and I have all of my layers here. I can just import one of these PNG files as you can see, it'll come in fairly big as an image. This isn't really ready to cut. So what you do is you right click on it and go trace image. And in the trace image, what you want to do is most of these default settings are pretty good. All you want to do is click on this delete image after trace. So I hit OK. So now that my image is traced, I can adjust the line to the color red by clicking down here in the bottom corner. Red is usually cut in this sort of software and then you just want to resize it. So I think for this one it was 156 in width. That should be about the right size for a dollar bill. And then I am ready to start cutting after I've adjusted my speed and my max power which usually is set by the machine software. So all I need to do is hit start. 